You want to relax for a while? Thank you. Your hospitality is humbling. Rest while you can, legs. Rest while you can. I wish my brother could have met you. You would have liked each other. Thanks, Inigo. Inigo. Yes? No! It will be done. It feels good to take a break. <sighs> Any thoughts, Inigo? I was remembering our battle with Alduin at the Throat of the World. I admit, I wondered if we were going to survive at the time. Thank the gods for Dragonrend. And our skill, of course. Thank you for your help. Um... <sighs> okay, Inigo, would you mind reading me Inigo the Brave? Okay. But remember, I am not a professional writer. I hope you like it. Inigo the Brave, a tale suitable for any gender and race, at any time. One day, Inigo was walking through his spider farm, minding his own business, when he smelt something was wrong. His nose was the best in the land, so he followed it to a nearby cave, where he found a beautiful woman of unspecified race crying. What's wrong, said Inigo. A smelly troll stole my sister, said the radiant woman. Can you help me? Please bring her back. Inigo looked into the dark cave, then into the eyes of the woman. If she's alive, I will save your sister, he said. Thank you, wept the woman. She kissed him and he entered the cave, bow in hand. He could smell ugly troll everywhere. He soon came to a fork in the tunnel. A little stream ran to the left, and a patch of glowing moss illuminated the way to the right. Left or right? Oh. Follow the stream. The stream was cold, but Inigo was hardy, and he liked the splashing noises his feet made. He soon found a dead man clutching a note. What do we do? Well, I think we have to read the note. Inigo bravely reached for the note, but as his hand closed around it, the man came alive. He was a zombie. Think fast. Uh, stab it with an arrow. Inigo bravely stabbed the zombie with an arrow and pierced its brain by way of its eye. It shuddered and died. Inigo read the note. I love you. Meet me in the cave at midnight, said the note. It was a woman's writing. Inigo looked up and saw a troll close by. Run at the troll. Inigo let out a barbaric yawp and ran at the troll. The troll looked up from his meal, wet himself, then ran away screaming like a little girl. It had been eating a local farmer by a slimy hole in the ground. The farmer was not anyone's sister, so Inigo pressed on. Ah, uh, okay, just keep going straight. The tunnel grew darker and Inigo heard himself crunching over dry bones. He smelt blood on the air. Soon he was standing high above a dark cavern. He could hear ugly movement below, and he saw sharp stalactites hanging from the cavern roof. What's the plan? Fire a few arrows at those stalactites. Inigo's arrows hit the stalactites and they crashed to the cave floor below. He heard trolls being squashed and he smiled to himself. 
When all was quiet, he jumped down among the smelly bodies and had a look about. He heard a woman weeping nearby. What do we do? Um, call out to her. What's going on here, said Inigo. The woman replied, I needed to feed my pets. I'm sorry, I know it was wrong. She coughed wetly. I need you to tell my sister something. Come closer. Do we trust her? Put an arrow through her eye. In a textbook example of skill and grace, Inigo loosed an arrow into the woman's face. As she expired, her body thrashed and began to change. It grew thick fur and hard skin. Soon her corpse looked half troll, half ugly woman. Inigo covered his nose against its stench and left the cave. Did you find my sister? asked the pretty woman waiting outside. Yes, I had to kill her. I am sorry, said Inigo. Thank you, said the woman. She was going to kill me if I didn't bring her more food for her trolls. Inigo was very understanding and took her to his farm to recuperate. It turned out that the woman liked playing with spiders as much as Inigo. They were married a month later and lived happily ever after. The end. We did it. Well done, my friend. I hope you enjoyed my book. Brilliant book. Put it away for now. Okay, if you want to hear it again, just let me know. Goodbye for now.